Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Kanika literally fades away into a water bottle. Hey, that's on the motherfucking shelf. Kanika, what were you just saying? And Kanika transform into five, six different men. She a shapeshifter. I told y'all the whole footage is the snake eating Kanika. What up, everybody? It's your boy, Random News, and I'm going to welcome you to episode 16 of the Dark Side of J4K. And I hope you got them rolled up and you're strapped in, because this trip is going to be a wild one. Now, so far in this series, we've covered psychics, crazies, even witch doctors. But today's Goofy, well, he's going to tell us how Kanika died using numbers. That's right, numbers. So let me introduce you to Illuminati Media and a story I like to call Murder by Numbers. Now to say this Goofy is special is an understatement, and to know that, all you gotta do is go to his channel and watch any of his videos, because they're all full of nonsense. Now the first time I seen him was when he posted a video titled, Kanika Jenkins and Nipsey Hussle were a sacrifice, says former gang member. <laughs> a lot of you probably won't know much what this, this one's about, but I felt, I felt like I, um, I really needed to touch on this because I remember when it first happened and I seen signs of a call all over it. You can already tell by that statement and that dull goofy look on his face that we got a full dumbass on our hands. With a lot of these killings and sacrifices they do, they'll use ancient gematria to spell out sacrifice and stuff like this. You see what Candace Starr uses her cell phone and any other props she can get her hands on to claim she's gonna solve a case, your boy uses Jamachia, something he knows absolutely nothing about, as you'll soon find out. Now, a lot of my beautiful black people. <laughs> wow, if that's not pandering, I don't know what it is. Your boy's laying it on thick to get those subscribers, right? That are mostly interested in this case, and that's the case of Kanika Jenkins, and she was sacrificed. I'm gonna tell you, listen, anybody that watches my channel knows I do this for for me repenting my soul. Yeah, and by repenting his soul, he means just to get money. <laughs> and I was a high-ranking member, um, Latin Kings, um, even a higher ran the whole North Syndicate. And he gave it all up to be a YouTube detective. <laughs> uh, all these gangs are involved in... Hold on, you gotta get his lie together. Satanic sacrifices. But see, the low, most of the low people in the street, they don't know this. It's the people at the top. Wow, and since he just said, I ran the whole North Syndicate. That means this idiot just confessed to killing people, if you want to believe his story. <laughs> the shit was put together through the black nobilities. <laughs> and how's he know that? How do I know that? I don't know. My great grandfather was Joseph Bonanno. Um, the Bonanos were part of one of the black nobility families, just like the Genovese's were, just like the Gambinos were. All these families were put together as a, a control grid in the United States. And you would think since he's related to all these powerful people, they would have gave him better camera equipment to start his YouTube channel, right? <laughs> and through sacred gematria, you gotta know which kind to use, the Jewish gematria, you can break the codes of these. In his case, gematria is the name of the crack he smokes before he goes live to tell you this type of bullshit. Like Nipsey Hussle. That was a sacrifice that had something to do with Jesus, a.k.a. Yeshua. That's why he's portrayed as the black Jesus. And since we all know Nipsey was just killed by a clown-ass pussy with a gun, it's safe to say we're looking at the face of a whole goofy. Um, but this Kanika Jenkins, this girl, did not deserve to die. Um, and I honestly, this is going to be controversial what I say, but I know this for a fact. This was a sacrifice. Uh, her, her organs was taken. I'm not going to say which one, you know. Well, it's hard to say which one when none of them were taken. Uh, but that links to a cult, and there's a reason that that's a sacrifice all on its own. I can't reveal too much on this, but I'll, I'll give you enough to know. Um, that's why there's nothing being done in this case. <laughs> he just said, yeah, I'm not going to reveal too much about this. Yeah, it's hard to do that when you don't know shit about it. Because, I, like I said, I was the highest ranking Latin king in northeastern Ohio for back in the day um, until I 
connected all the the gangs together as far as most of the Latin gangs go to MS-13, the Latin Kings, um, a bunch of a bunch of different small ones that people want to know because they're they're local to to here, Washington or Philly, um, and yeah, you wouldn't know me unless you were at the top of these things. <laughs> You could be on top of the world and you wouldn't notice nobody. Your boy chasing clout hard as shit. Yeah, I see the cult written all over it. Uh, Teresa. Here we go. Let's see what he got to say about the mom. She has videos always talking about getting rich. When she gets rich, all this shit. She did this. Watch. She's going She's going to do what she said now. And it'll look like she blew up through YouTube or whatever the fuck they do with her. But um, Or she might have owed a debt. Who knows? She's in Chicago. Chicago's one of the main hubs of the occult. And right now, his living room is the main hub for stupidity. And yeah, I have a lot of occult tatted all over me because I was heavily deep in it. I know all about human sacrifices, the different um, rituals, and, and it's nothing I'm proud of. And the shit I'm talking about now could get me killed. Meanwhile, your boy's still sitting over on YouTube spouting bullshit. <laughs> so my ties in this, my family, they interbreed to pull these bonds tighter. What the fuck? Incest is sick as fuck. But that kind of explains why this dude's fucking stupid. I know it sounds crazy, but the black nobility, um, these way smaller families, they that's what they are. Witches, warlocks, but they're talking to entities that are in another dimension. Like I said, the Kanika case brings out the goofiest motherfuckers you can find. You see too when she bounces off the wall, I seen the shadow of the dude come put his arm around her. Now they blurred that out somehow, but you can see she's not bouncing as much no more. He's he's walking her. Because that's cause they have connects. Don't expect them to tell you who they are or the name of their connects. <laughs> Anybody you see on TV or entertainment, you better promise you they're a witch. And I know that that's a weird word to say, but how do I know? My whole family's full of them. More like this cloud chaser and this whole family are full of it. <laughs> I just started this a couple weeks ago. It's 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 growing, but I, I don't do it to get famous. I don't care about that. I make plenty of money. You guys can go check out my website. I will promote that, www.dogmafia.com. <laughs> Man, this dude's full of shit. If you go over to that website, all you're going to find is a blank page. And if you want to know where that shirt came from, all you got to do is go to Facebook and type in Dog Mafia. Send them a picture of you and your dog, and they'll send you a free shirt. Your boy's a clown, and he has 100% nothing to do with that company. Uh, one of the most highest paid dogs, we do, and we just signed a deal with Netflix. You can just look at where he's sitting and tell that's a lie. <laughs> but I'm living in the motherfucking hood in three bedrooms, so I, I walked away from a lot of shit. When I got took away from my children, had my first son, went to prison, got shot eight times over some shit. <laughs> We got a modern day 50 cent over here. And if you think it sounds stupid coming out of his mouth, you should hear how his gang told the story. This brother been shot 22 times. 22 times. He ain't got no blood. <laughs> I had to do it. They tried to take me out twice. Once on the street, once in jail. And who are they? Wait a minute. Is one of these goofies finally going to give us the answer of who they are? I don't know. Who do you think? Nope. Just more clout chasing. <laughs> I controlled the whole Northeast, all the way, all the way from Ohio to Pennsylvania, then into New York. That's a whole another sector. These are areas, witches and principalities c control these guys. I'm telling you shit that can get me murdered. More like he's telling you things that get him committed to an insane asylum. Uh, Rayshawn Mitchell, Monifa, these two cocksuckers was involved in this along with this little girl's mama. I'm telling you that right now. She was set up as an offering. An offering to who? These people that come on here and make up lies for no fucking reason. And I'm, I'm not lying. Um, Azar, Azarias, I can't really say her name. I feel bad for her a little bit because I think she found out after the fact from what I can tell. And it's really bothering her, but she'll be killed too. Yeah, the only thing Azaria is going to be dying from is embarrassment. Kind of like your boy over here. As far as Azaria, she has a message going to this girl from a Galaxy phone, that Monisha, whatever, Monifa, how the fuck you say her name, uh, ratting out Monifa about secrets. She said she got screenshots of some juicy videos. Your boy claims he can use numbers and magic to decode cases and solve them, but yet he can't decode when somebody's spitting straight bullshit like this in his face. Y'all want to know how I got into this whole Kanika thing? 
Well, I'm about to tell y'all. I was put in this. This is a program. This is for propaganda, y'all. They put me in the program. The Kanika experience. More like somebody should have put both these goofies in rehab. <laughs> Open your eyes, man. You say you're woke. Wake up for real. Yeah, you need to wake up the bullshit spouted by dumbasses like this. Because this dude's on one. And a perfect example of that is this next clip. Watch how this dude uses this goofy ass number to try to tell you how Selena Gomez stole Kanika's kidney. <laughs> Four days going back and collecting all the original information on this. Yeah, a bunch of time that he could have spent looking for a job. Uh, Selena Gomez, her surgery, everything. It took me like four days to do. Yeah, high on a meth binge, no doubt. The freezer Kanika was found dead in has the letter R on it, and now it makes perfect sense to me even more. With the shit this dude's smoking, just about anything it makes sense to him. <laughs> and then it had 9-5 in it, which equals 32. Selena Gomez's birthday is 32, and Freemasonry, everything changes at 32 degrees, and water freezes at 32 degrees. Someone went from a 32 to a 33rd, and I believe this ritual was done so her transplant would go good. You guys following any of this bullshit yet? Well, it's more to come. <laughs> And uh, she's part of an elite Illuminati bloodline. And we've seen her daddy was at the hotel. People try to debunk that. Nobody needs to debunk the ramblings of a crazy person. Now this dude wants you to believe Selena Gomez's dad is running around the Crown Plaza. What an idiot. Selena Gomez equals 50 in full reduction. Well, kidney transplant equals 229, which 229 is the 50th prime number. Okay, I gotta stop for a second. Because literally as I'm making this video, I checked the comment section of the trailer I put up for this video. And one of my subscribers jumped in the comment section and asked me this. Shadowlin wrote, please tell me you got a clip of that teardrop being down on the other eye. And when I saw that, I started cracking up. So I went back to double check. And what do you know? In the very first clip, look at this shit. This dude does not have a teardrop. Meaning this goofy really painted that shit on for street cred. Shout out to Chandler for catching that shit. Cause that shit was fucking hilarious. Rosemont in English Ordinal is 119, which is also 911 in reverse. So it still just means it's 119. This goofy reverses to 911. <laughs> 16 years later, which it was 21 days after the 2017 Great American Eclipse. And that, that, that sums to the same as, if you spell it out, 666. On top of the Crown Plaza, you see a 666. Really? Three sixes on top of the Crown Plaza? I got a quick question. Where they at, though? Anika Jenkins, 143 in English Ordinal. Chicago, 143. Scottish Rite Freemasonry, 143. Kanika Jenkins in Reverse Ordinal is 235. Why does that matter? I don't remember any of us saying it mattered at all. <laughs> Kidneys summed to 33 in full reduction. On this day, it was called for, for this, this pagan ritual that was on this day. If you look in... He don't even know the name of the ritual because he's making shit up. For like uh, satanic sacrifices on that day calls for a girl under the age of 21, sex magic and dismemberment. So that they, they checked all the bars here. And you would think he would show you some evidence of everything he just said. I worked four days going back and collecting all the original information on this. Get the fuck out of here. Selena, Selena's hometown, Grand Prix, Texas, right? Which sums, if you put her hometown in, 120. Illuminati sums to 120. Helpless sums to 120 in reverse ordinal which is what her main headline says so hers her little friend plays into it too her friend syncs up with it just as well but one thing i can promise you is her friend ain't the one that gave her that kidney and i can tell you she definitely did since she got a surgery before kanika died i know this like i know the air i breathe the numbers never lie the numbers might not but this goofy sure does <laughs> Listen, this was a ritual, so her transplant would go good. They picked Kanika due to her family ties, her blood, because, listen, these people run the world, man. What don't people get about that? They know your blood type. They got doctors in on this stuff. Then they got little crews and teams that'll actually bring the person to them for the ritual and sacrifice where they do these hunting game rituals and hold 
hush parties after. He really just had hunting game rituals. Looks like your boy should have held a hush party for himself before he made himself look like a dumbass. Now the funny thing about these fraud channels is whenever they start to gain traction and gain a couple subscribers, they always gotta jump the shark. You see, they gotta bring on somebody that was either there or somebody that was close to the case to bring in some type of special information that none of you ever heard before. And trust me, you're gonna love the story this goof troop has to and tell you. And here we got a, a phone caller tonight. We're gonna talk about the Patricia Fowler and all that. As soon as you heard the name Fowler, it's safe to say your boy's about to be on one. I'm gonna introduce the caller now. Okay. Hello, can you hear me, Sarah? Yeah, wait till you get a load of this goofy. Okay, so what is uh, your take on all this with Patricia Fowler, Monifa? I definitely believe Patricia Fowler is Monifa's mama. And I definitely believe he's a fucking moron. Through this whole case, we never really seen any photos of Monifa. Like, we see photos of Kanika, a.k.a. Aisha, with Teresa. Man, these people will fall for any fucking thing. Nobody be talking about an Anisha Fowler if it wasn't for Chosen Key making that bullshit up. So where do you think Kanika fits into all this? She doesn't. <laughs> she fits in because she could possibly be Anisha. Now, Anisha and Yvonne were given away as babies. And I think that they were given away to, to Miss Teresa and she was caring for them all these years. <laughs> what a goofy. And you know what they say. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> that, that foot in the freezer, that's not a 19-year-old foot. That foot looked like it's been walking around for quite some time. You know, not 20 years on Earth. Yeah, I you agree. Know? I, yeah, no, I agree. I, got, I definitely got a, a slight foot fetish. What the fuck? This dude's a fucking weirdo. We're talking about a dead girl's foot in the freezer. And he's talking about he got a fucking foot fetish. What was this dude thinking about when he saw those pictures? Yeah, it looks maybe 30. Definitely don't about. look, it definitely don't look like a, a I, well, we all know though that they use someone else, I believe in that freezer anyways. Yeah, that's definitely because he's as dumb as he looks. <laughs> oh, that article you sent me. Uh, what was that girl's name that passed away? The Fowler that passed away? Yeah, see your boy had this part planned to fit his narrative. But his caller fucked it up. Check this out. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You sent All it. All I know is that uh, she was 24. <laughs> He's trying to save it. Watch this shit. Excuse me. She was 24. You just sent it to me before we went live. It was in my DM. Oh, oh I man. don't know. Damn. I don't know. I'll I'll share it tomorrow to on the upload. Yeah. Don't you love it when these fraud scams get all screwed up? But it gets better. But she. That that fi that article you sent me, that Walker girl was in there, Eugenia Walker. Yeah. How she saying yeah if she doesn't even know what fucking article he's talking about? These frauds really need to rehearse their scam before they go live. <laughs> oh, there are secret doors in that hotel. I seen it myself. Yeah, this goofy saw a secret door at the Crown Plaza with her own eyes. Come on, people. And I had to go back and keep looking and looking because I thought that I was bugging out because. Certain YouTubers are telling me, no, that's your reflection. But I'm looking. And the two girls that are standing in front of that door in the bathroom are not the two girls that you're seeing in the back. There's people going in and, try, in and out of that door in that bathroom. Right. No, I agree. He just said, I agree. But you know what they say? Crackheads think alike. All of a sudden, Therese, Teresa has a brace on her wrist and Irene has a black eye. Where, where did that come from? Right. <laughs> Well, obviously, Teresa probably punched her. More like somebody needs to punch both of these cloud chasers and not some sense into them. This lady, I believe, yeah, is I, I believe she's involved in child trafficking. And, uh, Me too. you know, Kanika, Kendra, whatever her name is, was, yeah, probably a handicapped girl that got, uh, inv got hurt and could have been handicapped or disabled from the freaking inbreeding. Yeah, I know. So let me get this straight. This goofy wants you to believe that Kanika is named Anisha and she was uh, inbred who was sex trafficked by Teresa Martin. You're looking at the face of a whole goofy. Then that took me down a rabbit hole last night where I found she was linked to all these accidents and cover-ups and like yes. this lady is linked to every 
Yes, I'm This ain't her first rodeo. Yeah, and everything he just said is about as real as that tattoo on his face. <laughs> the Barrio girl. She knew Kanika. She winds up in the garbage can, saying your tips cut off, organs missing, something, uh, something sinister going on. Damn. Azaria must have mutant powers or something. Because she can get murdered and everything else and still manage to be sitting on the page making YouTube videos. God has brought me through a lot. Now, either Azaria's a zombie or your boy and his guests here are a bunch of lying idiots. I'm going to go with the latter. You see, the funniest thing about this grifter is that he likes to spit out a bunch of numbers and bullshit real fast. Just because he knows his audience isn't going to keep up with him. And they're not going to go back and look up anything he's talking about. They're just a bunch of ramblings from a moron. Who wants to sound smart? Here's the perfect example of Kanika that. Jenkins died 22 days after the 2017 Great American Eclipse. She was found in a freezer. Which has nothing to do with this dumbass eclipse he keeps talking about. Water freezes at 32 degrees. This is a ritual. Yeah, ritual and the art of stupidity. <laughs> a month later, Las Vegas happens. He's on the... 32nd floor. And now he's trying to link the Las Vegas shooting to Kanika Jenkins. What an idiot. Three years later, we're in these events going on today, 2020 now, and the biggest event that happened in Minneapolis that popped all this off on the 93rd Meridian, 44th Parallel, GF. Bet you think it would help if he'd tell you what event he was talking about, right? <laughs> which from the Earth to the Sun is 90... 3 million miles, 44 is kill. And now your boy just saying anything to support his narrative. TMZ reported the 25-year-old R&B singer Anne Marie killed her boyfriend December 7, 2020. The date with 59 numerology. Where she killed her boyfriend? On the 33rd parallel. Where is she from? Chicago. <laughs> Again, an event that has nothing to do with Kanika or her death. Uh, where's King Von from? Chicago. What's King Von some to? 38. What's Pop Smoke some to? Some to? 38. And how many brain cells does he have left? 38. <laughs> I'm being generous. When he got hit, coming out of house number 2033, the year 2023 and the 30th anniversary of Freemasonry, boom, gets in ambulance number 41, Kobe Bryant. Your boy really just had that shit with a straight face. 13 is the 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati. What you're living in right now is a giant manifestation ritual, a transition ritual that has to do with the 2017 eclipse, what had linked to Kanika Jenkins. And we are three years, three months, three weeks, and three days since that event took place. Yeah, and if all that didn't sound goofy enough for you, listen to this part. And guys, it's linked to the movie Get Out and us, too. <laughs> this idiot will connect Kanika's case to anything as long as he can get views off it. And most of his crowd started to see that shit. And when that number shit wasn't getting over, your boy just went to the J for Pay playbook and resorted to fucking with the pictures and shit. Check this bullshit out. picture of this gentleman right here. Which he's one of the highest ranking Royal Order Adjusters. Not to be confused with the Royal Order of Goofies. A club that your boy Tommy is all too familiar with. Tight organization of what these people are doing. You see what he's throwing up there. We all know them are the devil's horns. Those are not devil horns. These are devil's horns. Your boy gonna break his arm reaching so far. To Monifa, both sides of her parents are both Eastern Stars and Masons. What? I told you he was dumb before the video started. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but Kanika Jenkins was a 9-11 eclipse ritual. And if you never heard anybody talk about a 9-11 eclipse ritual, it's a good reason why. And you'll find out at the end of the video. <laughs> and I will expose it till people see Chicago has an elite group of people that are doing these type of things to people the royal order of jesters all everybody in that room yeah the only jester you're gonna find in this story is your boy tommy because he's a straight clown this is how it all works together and everything around kanika is 9 11 go back and look again and you will see this yeah you get a lot more out of just watching paint dry <laughs>
9 11. Now, here I'm going to prove to you through these three different images that she was edited in. No, he's not. <laughs> Everybody's trying to hide it from him. Now, here you can start to see a little better, right? You're starting to see what's behind the little boy a little better. This dude really just fucked all the pictures up and told you now you can see it a little better. You can't even make out the face. Wait till I turn it into green. Oh man, this should be good. Check this out, family. Bum. Look at that. Clear as day. <laughs> Clear as day, everybody. That your boy would just doctor images to get any type of cloud he possibly could. But I would feel better if people knew the truth, what really happened what really took place with that girl. And then they could watch out for their self and stay away from that place. Please, be careful out there. Cause Jedediah grabbed up that white girl in the van when she went to the protest and no one ever seen her again. <laughs> now this goofy done made Jedediah out to be a whole murderer and shit. Now this goofy would go around the internet saying all type of stupid shit like this. And it got to the point that he got the other frauds to come out and start going against him. And when you get this fraud right here to come out against you, you know shit's bad. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Just 33 King Productions. Hey, you know this liar is about to be on one for sure. This time we talking about that motherfucking, uh, you know, I'm not racist. I'm not racist at all, but I'm gonna call him a white nigga. <laughs> Your boy is on one right now. He do some bullshit all the time. He always makes shit up. I don't like how he exploit Kanika Jenkins' name. I don't like that shit. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't, because it's fucking up his Kanika cash. And if anybody gonna exploit Kanika's name, it's your boy Jess. Kanika Jenkins hood pranks coming soon, or Kanika Jenkins pranks coming soon. And all you can do, Kaluminati Media, is sit there and make these false pictures. You generate these false pictures and say, is this real? Nigga, you know it's not real because you created the goddamn picture. You created that shit. And when you got a fraud like Jeff 33 calling you out, you know for sure that you're on some bullshit. Now, if you're a fan of the Dark Side series, you know it wouldn't be a Dark Side episode unless one of these fools tried to talk to the dead. And your boy Tommy with Straight Candid Star. Check this shit out. <laughs> so thank you, Jamie. My homegirl Jamie bought this for me for $10. That's right, people. For just $10 and a bag of crack, you can reach out and talk to Kanika all you want. <laughs> can I speak to Kanika Jenkins? Oh my God. I heard that. Yeah, what the fuck did he hear other than a bunch of random noises? What a goofy. Kanika, who killed you? Was your mother involved in covering up your death? Well, did, it, did that say yeah? Nope. <laughs> I want to talk to Kanika Jenkins. Why? Snakes. I'm not talking about no snakes. Kanika Jenkins. Yeah, it looks like this little parlor trick ain't working out for your boy too well. <laughs> You ghosts can't hear nothing. Deborah? Who is Deborah? You see, you're not going crazy. This idiot's really sitting here arguing with an app on his phone. <laughs> Who killed you? Who is they? See, even in the afterlife, they can't figure out who they and them are. <laughs> is Teresa Martin your mother? No, I heard no three times. Well, we already knew that. Now, how's your boy gonna hear no when absolutely no sound came out of that box at all? Sounds like your boy's high as a fucking kite. Kind of like his next guest. Because your boy had a caller on who went by the name of X. And the story he had to tell was completely moronic. Check so this I'll shit introduce out. the call. I'm here, how you doing, man? I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. Yeah, once you hear the bullshit this crazy is about to spit, you know he's not okay. So, yeah, if you want to go yes, ahead, sir. you can break it down. Do however you want it. Okay, uh, first of all, the double X chromosome gene is a gene that is, like, very, very rare. It's a, it's a gene that certain select people walking this planet have, first of all. And the X gene gives you ability to make you, like, smarter, faster, stronger, in so many words from whatever, where I've been led. And Kanika 
had the double X chromosome gene. Double X chromosome gene. <laughs> I'm sure Kanika did have it, along with every other female on the planet. These two are fucking morons. And the reason why they picked the Crown Plaza was because the crown goes on the queen's head. Don't you love it how these people just reach for the sky when it comes to these conspiracy theories? Before I go any further, Tommy, is do you remember the photos that you've seen of her in the freezer with the letter A and the pink and black lip gloss laying by her body? Yes, sir. I, re I do remember them. Okay, for those who, who, who follow Gematria and those who are good at it, you put the Gematria of the letter A and the Gematria calculator, English ordinal is going to give you 81. You know what else sums to 81? King David sums to 81. <laughs> this fool really just said King David, but that won't be the craziest shit he says. The messenger angel, English extended, 708. And this is all tied to Kanika. No, this story is just tied to two goofies that ain't got shit better to do. <laughs> and the reason why they picked the Crown Plaza, because like I told you guys a minute ago, Kanika has the double X chromosome gene. I told Tommy, and Tommy went and checked. Monifa had a video that everybody overlooked where Monifa asked Kanika, did she want to join, was she ready to join the Illuminati? Remember? Now Monifa's recruiting for the Illuminati. These people are crazy. That's another reason why you got a lot of, we'll say, famous people that were spotted there. Because they had it, a ritual plan for either way. And just don't expect this mystery caller to tell you what those plans are. <laughs> and when you put Kanika Jenkins in the Gematria calculator, it sums to English Ordinal 143. You know what else sums to 143? What? Chromosome sums, sums to 143. Also, Fallen Angel Gabriel sums to 143. <laughs> the Fallen Angel Gabriel. And I'm sure he was running around the hotel editing the footage. <laughs> uh, Fallen Angel Gabriel and Satanic 773. Fallen Angel Gabriel, English Extended, 143. What else is 143? Dead Phoenix Bride. Can you imagine this goofy going to the cops and telling them that the dead Phoenix Bride covered it up? <laughs> the reason why they killed her is because of the double X chromosome gene. Because they want this gene. I don't want to lose my audience on where I want to go next. So, Hold before, I, the, before I... The gene, before brother. I um, does that have to do with the RH negative bloodline? Yes. The RH negative, Kanika also, not only did she have RH negative blood, not only was she the messenger, angel, but she was the queen of David. And who would have known the queen of David was just living in Chicago this whole time? <laughs> because David is never too far from his queen. And before I go on, I'm going to ask Tommy, is there anything you want to ask me before I go with the next step? How are they going to try to get Tommy to ask some questions when this dude just said he knows how Kanika dies? Yeah, he didn't tell you. The numbers and the gematria is leading me to saying that in words, in so many words, that the ones that we call the elite, so the 1%, we are going to overtake them. And Kanika was a key part in this whole battle with this double X chromosome gene. That's why Kobe, 6 9 all these people like them, they have Joshua blood, but they chose the right hand path. Left I hand. The, well, the left hand path, the dark path. And given the path that these two idiots are on, they'll be in the nut house in no time. <laughs> Wait, man, you can understand, like, I've been on The Walking Dead with the chick with the sword. She has the double X chromosome gene. She has the X marks on her back. He really said The Walking Dead. <laughs> right, like, I've seen that one. Yeah, I'm sure he did. That's how both these idiots came up with this whole X chromosome theory. <laughs> this gene is held, uh, you see it a lot in the Hispanic and black culture a lot. Um, especially the Mexican culture, I found it a lot in. Um, and and yeah. I, at first I thought, 
maybe they was trying to harvest something, you know? But then it looks like maybe they're just trying to eliminate it, period. Kind of like somebody eliminated all forms of common sense from this chat. <laughs> They're they trying to eliminate it, and they also trying to use it. <laughs> Wait till you hear what they're trying to use it for. <laughs> but they need it to open up. If you follow Tommy, then y'all, everybody seen those white dots in the sky, and everybody seen that rainbow cloud. Everybody seen that. He means him and the rest of his drug addict friends when they were getting high one night. <laughs> And, and that's what I believe. It's a dimension and they're trying to open a portal. So you'll see this thing in the sky. It's so weird. It's rainbow colored. And that rainbow cloud, that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, that rainbow cloud is, is good. Good for the people who got this X gene. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these fools might be missing a few chromosomes themselves. <laughs> that's all I can really tell you without getting out in trouble. Because we all know you don't want Monifa and the rest of the Illuminati to come knocking at your door. <laughs> the rainbow cloud with the the what you what everybody wanted to say was UFO sightings, all of that line up with something that's coming to Chicago. Because anything that I put in that has to do with anything remotely Marvel, Terminator. Um, Suicide Squad, anything that has to do with any type of movie, it always leaves me back with the numbers to 773-312 area code, and that is Chicago. That's right, people. Your boy gets all of his info from watching Marvel movies. <laughs> and I think I lost our caller. My phone died on him. No, nah, his phone ain't died. Everybody in the chat heard that shit and knew that he was full of shit. And now they know your boy Tommy's full of shit. But just like every other fraud, your boy jumped real quick to try to cover up. That here, here's a little fun fact. The freezer that has the letter R on it. See, your boy got nowhere to go. So now he's just gonna jump back to that Selena gimmick and ignore everything they just said. <laughs> R is 18 plus nine plus five equals 32. Selena Gomez's birthday breaks down to 32. They took Kanika's kidney, because if, if, you, if you are RH negative and carry this bloodline this x chromosome then you have to take a body part from a person that also has this and maybe that's why they asked her bro if she was ready to join and when she said no they got selena gomez on that first red eye flight and this guy who nobody ever heard of before who never reported on the kanika case till like two years afterwards just happened to get all this information and I believe it with all my heart that Selena Gomez ended up with that girl's kidney. And I believe with all my heart that that Sharpie he's using to draw that tear on his face has to be toxic. Because this dude lost any idea of common sense. <laughs> now I know a lot of you are wondering where do these groupies come up with most of these acts and these gimmicks that they have. Well just like Hand the Star, Tommy never knew anything about Jamadria. And even though he likes to come on here and tell you things like... My great-grandfather was Joseph Bonanno. Um, the Bonanos were part of one of the black nobility family. Anybody you see on TV or entertainment, you better promise you they're a witch. And I know that that's a weird word to say, but how do I know? My whole family's full of them. More like everything about this dude is full of it. And like I always say, all you gotta do is let these goofies talk. And they'll eventually get themselves away. One night your boy decided to go on YouTube and one of the people watching the stream noticed that all the Jamatria bullshit he was talking was stolen from another YouTuber that he watches. And when he called your boy out on it, this is what he said. Your boy just finished reading the comment asking why he's still in the work of Jamatriator and Zach. And watch what your boy says. Jamatriator. He's really good. Which is why your boy decided to half-ass steal his research for his own narrative. At first I thought Jamatrianator was Zach. I thought they was the same person. But then when I started following that platform. He figured it was an easy way to grab some of that Kanika cash if he brought some of that shit over to the Kanika community. I, I, I never would have known about Jamatria if it wasn't for Zach Hubbard. Really? Because before, he wanted you to believe that it was passed down to him by all the powerful people in his family. I, ca I came from a family that's in steeped in Freemasonry. And yeah, I have a lot of occult tatted all over me because I was heavily deep in it. Yeah, knee deep in bullshit. And the best is how he tried to play the shit off. You know, you learn from someone and then 
sometimes you become better than the teacher. And to be better than the teacher, the people you stole all your bullshit from had to have actually taught you, which they didn't. So you look like a whole goofy. Now needless to say, once your boy started getting the numbers he was getting on his videos, the other frauds wasn't having that shit because they ain't gonna let no outsider come in and horn in on that Kanika cash. And the pressure from all the drama caused your boy to come online and have a complete meltdown. Listen to this shit. Cause I pray, I pray they come, but they don't. They don't, they're keyboard warriors. That's all they are. That's all they are. Tommy's really about that street life. And by street life, he means living on the streets. <laughs> so first of all, nobody likes Monifa. And I don't like Monifa. I don't like Teresa. I don't like none of them. Yeah, normal people would actually have to know somebody not to like them. But not these goofies. And I believe these people are at fault for that young queen's death. And then you losers covered it up. I mean, that's what paranoia does to people. <laughs> I'll just tell everything because I have nothing to hide. And somebody really should have been there to tell him not to do this at all. <laughs> yeah, have I made mistakes? Of course I have. Possession, uh, beating people up. The possession part, I can see that for sure. Beating people up, I doubt it. But that's the least of the shit this dude got into. Oh, Joe, I got one child endangerment, and that's my sister. And wait till you hear what brother of the year over here did. She was 16, I was 18, I flipped my car on some bars. I was eating some bars, left the party drinking, I was going to pick up Gabby. Yeah, somebody else's life that he can just put in danger. And I, I, we made it up the road and I flipped the car, but I thought, oh, I'm gonna beat the breathalyzer. I didn't beat it. I definitely didn't beat it. So, you know, I copped out to that. Like he had a choice. What the fuck? But don't worry, this shit just gets darker as it goes on. My mom married the sheriff before. Sheriff say nothing. He shot my dog in the head. What I told you, this shit's about to get dark. My dog was a Neapolitan Mastiff. That big dog that's on belly. And he bit my mom's thumb off. And, my, and, and then when I came home, it was in the sink. On ice. But it's so back on, but it don't move though. But it don't move. So I had to bury my dog. And I kept one of his tooth, one of his teeth. And I still have it. Kept one of his teeth so I could clone him one day. <laughs> Your boy really just said clone. You looking at the face of a whole goofy. Because I made my mom get a divorce probably five times. Beat a few of her boyfriends up, you know, stuff like that. What the fuck? Sounds like this dude was just walking around the house terrorizing people. My cousin, you know, he hit me up. We were at Walmart with his kid. I shouldn't have slept with his baby's mom. That's horrible. What the fuck is wrong with this dumbass? And he on here trying to judge Teresa about stuff. So our kids are brother, sister, cousins or something like that. Well, according to what he said in the beginning of the video, I guess he's keeping up with family tradition, right? It's my family, they interbreed to pull these bonds tighter. <laughs> what the fuck? And I bet your boy had a real good excuse for doing this shit. She was sexy and we was drunk and it happened. Nope, your boy's just a straight up scumbag. Now the Fowlers are all connected to it as well. And the Fowlers are involved in child trafficking. And Teresa is involved in it too. So, you know, this goes a lot deeper than people think. And if people want to get mad at me for exposing that lady, oh well, I could care less. This dude can care less about what he did to his own family, let alone what he's doing to Teresa. And he put that shit on perfect display right here. Did I have a baby with my cousin's baby's mama? Yeah. So that's some Jerry Springer stuff. You know, um, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, real shitty, right? And after what he's about to say, you'll wonder how he's so nonchalant about this situation. My cousin called me and committed suicide. And that's something I live with. So he got his cousin's girl pregnant, caused him to kill herself. And then he's on here saying, you know, um, it happens to the best of us. What a piece of shit. Well, I made Kanika Jenkins a promise. And that is, I'm exposing everyone that tried to cover up that little girl's murder, whatever her name is. I don't care if it's Kanika, Kendra, whatever. We're getting her justice. More like we should be getting justice for his cousin. Because that's the only real victim that your boy needs to be worried about. And as far as that promise he made to Kanika, you know, to get her justice and all. Well, if you go over to his page right now, all those Kanika videos are gone. All your boy talking about is reptile people and conspiracy bullshit. And only thing you're definitely going to find is a picture of him without the tattoo. <laughs>
And with that, your boy Tommy rode off into the sunset. Never to speak of Kanika again. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end this one. I hope you had a good time. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And if you like the content, hit the cash app for your boy. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, I have a lot of occult tatted all over me because I was heavily deep in it. I know all about human sacrifices, the different um, rituals, and, and it's nothing I'm proud of. And the shit I'm talking about now could get me killed. I call him a white nigga. I, I, I never would have known about Gematria if it wasn't for Zach Cup.